Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. And in today's video, I'll be talking about locks in the workplace. In my personal experience working, most of my jobs have been with other black people and I've always felt comfortable with that. Um, however, in my last job, I was one of very few black workers there. And when it came down to sitting in meetings with my employee, my, my coworkers and my supervisors, I did feel out of place. Especially when I was new at the job, I didn't feel like my presence or opinions were even very much valued. And that might not have been the case, but it definitely made me sit back and be more quiet when I did have you things to offer. I think having that state of mind was more crippling than actually being the only or one of the few black employees. That might be the case for a lot of us. Maybe our own mentality is what's holding us back, but I get the feeling that for the most part, it's a reality and it's not just in our thoughts. And then you have to deal with microaggressions that let you know that they don't see you as their equal. Last year, I participated in a photo shoot for a magazine called Luxie House, and the photo shoot was to depict tokenism in the workplace. I'll actually read the post that I made about it. This amazing photo series is out of the debut issue of Luxie House, depicting black tokenism in the workplace. How do you feel in the workplace amongst others who don't look like you? So I left that question and I got a bunch of answers from you all. And I'm going to read some of them. Five hours later. Rocky Baby says, I feel alone. I feel weird. Although I manage to get through every day, I rarely feel I can relate to anyone. I feel like I have to put on a performance until I leave. Just Kia 76 says, While it's lonely, I'd rather be authentically me than a shell of a person so desperate to fit in and be accepted. It makes me the strong and resilient person that I am and makes my support system outside of work that much more important. Renee Dion says, I feel miserable and feel like I can't truly be myself while they get to be themselves day in and day out and they get to slack off and be inconsistent while I feel like I can't. Lonely and out of place is depressing and while I work in the mental health field, this is the main reason why I want to start my own practice in the future and not work at any other agency, especially one in which I am one or few of the only black women there. Delicate Queen says, I don't like it, I've become accustomed to it, but I don't necessarily care for it, especially since it's 2017. Seeing and working with people who look like me is definitely a treat and makes me feel more comfortable in the workplace. It's familiar. Jaded Locke says, This is so me at my job. I am literally the only black woman and I am a manager. And I can just feel how they do not like that. I feel like I am constantly having to prove myself. I feel their coldness and sense their sneak disses and no matter how many times my feelings may get hurt a day I have to continue to hold my shoulders back keep my head high ignore and smile to not show my weakness because that is what is expected Bobby cool says I feel like a scarce rare jewel yet valuable in many intangible ways with what I offer to a company Ariane.Riley says it's a balancing act I'm not the only black person, but I am one of five out of like 30 to 40. I work in academia, so there are other factors that make my experience much different than the other black people in my department and school. Parentheses, I'm the youngest full-time employee out of all the staff and faculty, so almost 400 people. It helps to find allies where I can and have a community outside of my department. It helps me remember that my immediate work environment isn't the only thing that I have. Time Motivated says, I feel so totally out of place. Sometimes I question myself, like, do I actually belong here? 
I worked hard to get to this place just like everyone else, but still I'm treated differently. The medical field is predominantly white. I just wish it was more a diversity. Miss Square 71 says, There are days I feel empowered and others I feel annoyed by being the only black manager, but most of the time I feel thankful to have a career that I worked hard to cultivate. So for the most part, there seems to be a consensus of people feeling uncomfortable in the workplace, being the only black person. Initially, when I made that post on Instagram, I intended for it to be about having locks in the workplace, how that sets you apart from others. Although the way I worded my caption and the question is definitely wasn't translated that way. The photo shoot clearly shows one black person amongst four women and it would have been a different photo shoot if it was I guess the photo shoot would have painted a different picture if it was four black women and only one had locks and the other three had wigs so I would like for you to leave a comment below and let me know your experience if you have a unique experience being the only person with locks in the workplace and do you think that that makes your experience any different or you can leave a comment below and let me know your experience as a black person in the workplace and if you work amongst people who don't look like you how was your experience when i did work with predominantly black people i did have other issues on the job but i never had any issues of feeling out of place or feeling like i didn't belong or feeling like i was undervalued i did however feel a sense of competition from my higher-ups um, at one job that I was in I was definitely overqualified and I think that made my manager feel threatened although there's no way I would have ever wanted to take her job so I don't I think that was a lot of things in that particular situation I didn't say that job very long although I did love that job the job was really fun let's continue the conversation in the comments below please leave a comment Thumbs this video up if you liked it. Remember to subscribe and share. And check out the description box below for more. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.